In this video, we're going to look at the dictation feature built into the new iPad. This feature is not available on the original iPad or the iPad 2. The dictation feature allows the user to dictate what text they want put into an edit field. So if you're in a note field, you can take a note using that way. You can write your emails or fill out different form fields on the internet, search fields and things of that nature. I'm gonna start by opening the Notes app on my iPad. I'm using the keyboard to move to it. For those of you who don't have a keyboard, find the Notes app on your home screen and double tap on it. Notes. Double tap to open. Notes. One note. Search. Search field. Double tap to add. Okay, so we're in the Notes app. I'm gonna go and find the Add button so that I can start a new note. Notes list. Add button. Note. Text field. Is editing. That text field is editing tells me that it's ready to listen to what I have to say. Instead of typing my note in, I'm going to use a dictate feature to tell it what text to put into the edit field. One thing to note is that the dictate button does not appear on your keyboard if your device is not connected to a Wi-Fi or internet signal. So we tried it before and when we didn't have a connection, there was no dictate button, but as soon as my connection was established, the dictate button appeared. The reason for this is that the dictation occurs out there in the ether. So basically what happens is you dictate what you wanna to say to the device, it sends it to one of the Apple servers, it gets converted and it gets brought back to your device as a text. One thing to note is it's pretty fast and there's also a privacy notice in the general settings app that you might want to review before you use this because what does end up happening is that everything that you dictate to your iPad gets sent to Apple for their further development of this app. So it's something to be definitely aware of. But let's try it. So the dictate button is located to the left of the space bar. So visually what it looks like is a little microphone, or for those of us using voiceover, it will announce dictate. Dictate. Double tap to start dictation. Two finger double tap when finished. When you use dictate, you want to include the punctuation because the device does not know when to put punctuation in, so you have to kind of tell it when to do that. So I'm gonna demonstrate. When you hear a ding, it means I'm gonna start using the dictation feature and then it's gonna ding again when I'm done doing that. Good afternoon, everyone, comma, new line. This is the dictate feature available on the new iPad, period. In order to make it work, comma, you must connect to the internet via a Wi-Fi signal, period. Once a signal has been established, comma, everything you say is sent to an Apple server and is converted and sent back to your iPad as text, period. It's pretty amazing, exclamation point. Thinking. Insert a good afternoon, everyone. This is the dictate feature available on the new iPad. In order to make it work, you must connect to the internet via a Wi-Fi signal. Once a signal has been established, everything you say is sent to an Apple server and is converted and sent back to your iPod as text. It's pretty amazing. Wow. I have to say, every time I use it, I get more and more amazed. Um, and the one, one of the really additional great things about the Dictate feature is that you don't have to take a lot of time to train it. This is actually the fourth time I've used this, and I haven't really given the device much time to learn my voice, but its recognition is pretty amazing. And that's the dictate feature.